I've been wanting to go to Lilia for seven years. Tonight was the night and it was simultaneously one of the best and worst nights of my life as a food blogger. Let me just start it off by saying I forgot my LED light. It's literally the one thing I need to bring with me when I go to a restaurant. I never forget it and yet somehow on this night, the culmination of my food career, I forgot it. So I had to work with phone flashlights like it was 20 fucking 15. Not to mention two people that I was supposed to go with to Lilia dropped out so I had to find replacements for both of them. You just don't do that with Lilia. Anyway, back to the food. You know how high my expectations were for this meal? Don't get me wrong. I've heard controversial takes about Lilia. Some say it's their favorite restaurant. Others say that Missy is a thousand times better. What's my take? Um, yeah, Missy's definitely better. I'll say it. I wasn't impressed by a single pasta. I wouldn't order any of those pastas again. I don't even think it's because we were sitting outside in a wind tunnel and the pastas got cold within seconds. They were good, but the scallops were incredible. But a meal has never been redeemed as well as this one. These desserts changed my life. Olive oil cake, which I destroyed with my spoon and vanilla soft serve with honey and olive oil i rarely enjoy dessert more than i do the meal and this was a rare exception and we enjoyed it in the warmth of the inside of the restaurant so while my light was mia and this was the most random assortment of friends that i could have come up I with i think this was the start of a beautiful journey okay bye now thanks for watching